Hello friends, welcome to today's operating systems class and in this class we will discuss the user and operating system interfaces from first unit. Under this topic we are going to discuss the first one is command line interface that is CLI which is otherwise called as command interpreter and second one is graphical user interface which is otherwise called as GUI and the last one is touch, sc touch screen interface. Let us discuss all these things one by one. Normally the interfaces are used to, to access the system resources. Here there are several ways for users to interface with the operating system to access the system resources. System resources. The resources are like the CPU, memory, IO devices, files, system related functions okay and etc so these are all system resources the if any user wants to access the system resources they need an interface right here there are two fundamental approaches are there first one is command line interface that is cli which is otherwise called as command interpreter and second one is graphical user interface that is gui when come to command interpreter the user will communicate with the console based operating system. Okay, here the input device is only the keyboard. The command will be, will be typed through the keyboard and they will execute that command to access the system resources, right? So only keyboard is used here. And second one is graphical user interface. Here communicate the user with graphical based operating system. Okay, here a very simple and easy access system components because in this graphical user interface the input devices will be the pointer device which is the pointer device mouse. Okay, through mouse we can access and execute the system programs. Okay, so apart from this mouse we are having a desktop okay desktop and then taskbar and so many icons icons are there okay by using mouse we can click and execute the system programs by clicking the icons and taskbar is there which is used to see how many tasks are executed currently and desktop and apart from this we are having menu menu that is start menu start menu by using mouse we can select any one of the menu item and we can execute that particular program okay in graphical user interface what are the uh, devices are maximum used here first one is mouse and second one is keyboard the output device will be monitor Okay, so this is graphical user interface. So when come to command line interface, only text based commands are used for that we are going to use only the keyboard and when come to graphical user interface, so in the desktop so many icons will be there, each icon will represent a particular program by using mouse we can execute that icons that is system programs and by using mouse we can select the menu item and through the start that is taskbar we can see which are the programs are currently executed. So mouse will be used very much here. Uh, first let us see the command line interface in detail. Okay, This command line interface the user can directly enter the commands that to be performed on the operating system through the keyboard. Through the Okay, through the keyboard we can directly enter the commands. Okay, then the operating system will be executed that command and we will get the result. Okay, this some operating system includes the command interpreter in the kernel itself. In the kernel itself, but when come to the Windows operating system or Unix operating system, the command line interpreter will be a special uh, that is a special program. Okay, in Unix operating system, 
we will go to terminal window terminal window to get this command line interpreter okay when come to windows operating system we have to execute the cmd that is command okay we will go to dos prompt disk operating system prompt okay and here the interpreters are known as cells that is commands commands okay what is the purpose of interpreter interpreter are used to, to access the system resources by the user okay here we are having three different types of shells that is the system commands first one is the set of commands which are inbuilt in the operating system itself we are having different types of shells and those are inbuilt in the operating system itself this is the first type and second type the user can define their own shells okay that is user defined shells and the third one is the external shells that is the shells are uh, taken from the external third party from some other organization we can retrieve some external shell that shells that should be installed in our operating system okay so we are having three different types of shells first one is operating system inbuilt shells user defined shells and third party external shells the main function of command interpreter is to get the user command and execute the user command okay user specified command and by using these commands we can create a file delete list print copy execute and so on that is we can do all these operations on the files okay and these commands can be implemented in two ways first one is the interpreter itself contains code to execute this command okay so when we give a command in the command prompt the interpreter itself can execute execute that command and second one is command through system programs okay here the interpreter does not know anything about that command but by using the system programs or system calls the command will be executed so let us see all those things in some more detail the first one is interpreter itself contains the code to execute the command okay for example we can take the command delete that is delete an existing file the first step is the command interpreter go to the section of its code and second step it will set up the parameters and third step it makes appropriate system call that means first it will go to delete delete section of the code and then the parameters so here what is our parameter the file which is existing file will be exi uh, will be given that is for example sample dot text okay suppose we want to delete a sample dot text file hence we will go to the delete code first after that we have to set up this parameter then make the appropriate system call that is we have to delete that is we need to execute this particular code okay then the file will be deleted since the command requires its own implementing com implementing code okay so for each command it should have its own program okay for delete it should have its own program rm or list the file ls will be there or to display the date we have to give date command to display the calendar we are having cal command so there are so many commands are there for each command it's having its own program or code okay and traditionally the unix system have been dominated by command line interfaces and the second one is commands through system program here the command interpreter does not know anything and it does not understand the command even okay if we give any command the command interpreter does not understand instead what it will do it will identify the file which file to be loaded for example suppose if we give rm sample dot txt then it should load this particular file 
into the memory. Memory means ra, uh, main memory. Main memory and then this particular RM file will be executed. Okay, that particular command file will be executed. Okay, here the Unix command to delete a file by using this given command. Okay, that is RM space file dot txt. Here RM is the command and file dot txt is the attribute attribute of this command ok so this attribute is command line attribute command line attribute ok ok so what are the steps it will take to execute this particular file first one it will search the file called rm so in the rm there should be a file first it will search that file and second the rm file will be loaded into main memory and third one it will execute this rm file with the parameter that is file.txt so the text file file.txt is already there we have to execute this particular text.txt for deleting this file ok here the function associated with rm command would be defined completely by the code the rm so for each and every command there is a program ok here the programmer can add new commands by the system easily by creating new files with the proper name even the student can create their own commands with the proper name and the command interpreter program which will be very small in this kind of interpreter ok and if we add any one of the new command that will not affect the interpreter ok so this is the second type and this is the unix command interpreter and here we have to type our commands in the ash prompt so this is the ash prompt swap space hyphen sh and this is the ash prompt uptime so these are the commands and this is the w w command ok so here this is the prompt again here we can enter our program for example i can type date this will display the system date and time ok so this is the unix command interpreter in the command prompt we can enter our commands and this is the windows command interpreter and this is the uh, cmd.execute file and here we are having c prompt c colon slash so this is the c prompt under this c prompt we can type our commands ok date time cls quit and so many other dir dir is to list all the files ok cd is used to change the directory and md is to create a directory or mkdir is to make the directory rmdir is used to, to remove the directory so many different commands are there we can execute all the commands in the command prompt itself so this is windows command interpreter the next one is graphical user interface which is a user friendly interface which is otherwise called as gui in this GUI, we are having mouse based window and a menu system characterized by desktop. So, in the graphical user interface, we are having the desktop system which contains more number of icon that is graphical images and by using the mouse, we can select this particular icon or a menu will be there the menu is called as start menu start menu and we are having the taskbar ok this everything is called as desktop and in the desktop user can move the mouse to, pos uh, to the position and its 
pointer on images. So, we can select a particular images by moving the mouse on the screen ok and the icons represent the icons. So, this is graphical images. So, many graphical images may be there on this desktop which represent that may be a program file or directories and system functions ok everything that will be represented as icons and depending on the mouse pointers location clicking the button on the mouse that is left click ok mouse that can invoke a program or that can execute this particular program and select a file or directory. Suppose if we click on a directory or file means that will the file will be selected which is known as folder. That is in windows the directory directory is called as folder ok or if we left click that particular mouse then we will get the pull down menu ok that is pull down menu. So, everything will be there in this desktop ok here we can use mouse as important input device. Instead of keyboard, ok. So, by using mouse, we can move the pointer anywhere else in the desktop, we can select the icons, we can select the menu options, and we can suppose if we double click a particular icon, we can the program will be executed, and if we right click any of the blank screen, then a pull down menu will be appeared that is frequently used menu items will be there in that pull down menu right and this is the sample graphical user interface that is for windows operating system ok here and these are all called as icons these are all icons every icon is represent a program file so these are all file excel file uh, pdf files this is folder ok this is a program computer ok and this is the start menu and this is the taskbar and the everything are called as desktop ok and the next interface is touch screen interface here GUI has several enhancements in its functionality and the GUI been implemented in mobile systems smartphones and held tablet uh, computers and in those system we can use touch screen interfaces ok in those interfaces we cannot use a separate mouse ok a separate pointer device ok instead of pointer device we can use our own fingers ok by pressing or swiping across the screen this is touch screen interfaces. So, touch screen interfaces are implemented in very small mobile devices. Mobile devices. So, instead of mouse here we are using our own fingers to select the icons and execute the programs. Right. Here the common desktop environment, the common desktop environment implemented by Windows system and the commercial version of Unix systems. Okay, common desktop environment that may be the GUI. That is the normal GUI functionalities will be implemented in Windows operating system as well as the commercial Unix operating systems also. Up to this, we have seen the user and operating system interfaces from first unit. Under this topic we have discussed the first one is command line interfaces or otherwise called as command interpreter and the graphical user interface and the last one is touch screen. Okay, you can expect this question uh, from 5 mark question of university examination and the next class we will see another important topic from first unit. Thank you.